how to rank in Google Maps in 2018, 2019 and beyond. In fact, as long as Google is around and people are searching it, you'll enjoy better results from Google following ranking insights. The insight that I'm going to reveal to you, it's a trade secret that I never revealed to anyone else before. And I am always hesitant to reveal trade secrets on certain content that I create. So let's get right into it. Let's see what this trade secret is. PGPaintAndDesign.com is my valued client from Canada. They are family operated professional painters. They do a great job. They've been in the industry for a long time. And just like your small business or your local business, Google rankings are important for my valued client as well. So then, make sure your website is optimized because your website is your temple on internet. So let's look at the source code. One of the smartest investment that you can make is to add local business markup. But when you do, go to schema.org, find local business and scroll down the bottom and say more specific types and ask yourself does your business fall within these categories? If so, you can utilize additional time. The search engines like Google and others, they understand structured data in 2018. Furthermore, what you can do, you can include a property in schema.org called has map because to be able to rank in Google Maps, obviously you'll have details for your business. Let's see how that works. Simply search your own brand term in Google search. Then press on maps. Then this is the detail that Google is willing to show you right, about your business. Here you have share link. Let's press on that. And here it says link to share. What did Google do here? It has created a short link, so you can copy it, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or even send to your valued customers. Perhaps with, you know, when you're sending an invoice, someone you know, interacted with your business, you can request your valued customers to visit this URL and provide a review by requesting them to write a review because reviews are important as detailed on this blog post. But you want to rank in Google, right? Google Maps. So let's share this link. Let's copy the URL. So copy the link and let's do this. Let's paste that URL into the address bar. And as you can see, it's just been redirected to the full version of the URL, correct? Now, depending on where your business is, this is very important to understand what's really going on here. My valued client, local business, is in Canada. That means it's obvious that people in Canada will be using Google Maps. And when they do, they won't be using google.com.au. They'll be using google.ca, which is the Canada version of Google, right? But what if you're located in UK? If that's the case, you change that to .co.uk. Because Google works like that. Right, so triple check that for your local business because you want to rank here. Now, this is what you should be doing. You can follow this approach if you want. You can copy the link on a blog post that you create on your own website because you should be blogging. Right? Any website, any business should be blogging in 2018 and beyond because it helps everything to do with Google. Furthermore, your business as well. It builds authority on internet. So then you simply place your business name as in your brand name and then you can paste that short link in there. When you do, 
make sure that you utilize title attribute for that link. Right? At this moment, you may even be thinking, you know what, I already do this, I know this. Well, if that's the case, let's go and take it one step further. And I'll reveal to you the trade secret. Now, let's imagine, let's go to Google Canada and search Google Canada. Let's paste these keywords. Keywords that is important for your local business. Because it's more than likely that when someone searches Google Maps for your brand terms, Google is going to show that anyway, right? But you don't really want to rank for your own brand terms only. You want to rank for important keywords in Google, in Google Maps, and so on. Well, how do we do that? Well, we do that through searching Google. Then, press on Maps. Here, my valued client is enjoying free website traffic all the time. If someone wants to search for house painters in October, second position. Now, how can we move this above? Well, this is what you can do. You can grab those keywords. Press on the listing for your local business. Now, what happens is, take a look at this keyword. Now you can grab that URL, because that's a different URL at this moment. And you can paste the entire URL into a different link, perhaps a new blog post that you've created. And you do the same thing with the title, but this time, instead of using your brand term, you can do something like this, if you want. But you need to keep changing these if you're creating you know, blog posts every day and so on. Because you don't want to keep using the same keywords when you're linking. Now, is this spam? Absolutely not. Because you're creating the content. That means you're creating useful content according to the insights Rank has shared with you. Then, as your business grows, as your website grows, you can every now and then include these links, pointing the link to Google Maps is itself. And where will this go? It will go to your business listing. And these will be the keywords. Make sense? Now, when you couple all that information with how to rank in Google local business results. And you won't be just ranking in Google Maps. You'll be ranking everywhere. I've just searched Google Australia. Let's search Google Canada. And Google my business listing here. And on the first page for these terms. Make sense? Linking is important. Now, should you keep doing this, keep doing this? Yes, why not? As you're, if, if you're blogging all, often, which you should, then every now and then you can follow this approach. But don't overdo it because that wouldn't be smart. Now, let's imagine this scenario. Surely one keyword ranking is never good enough for any website. So then, let's go and search interior house painting services for demonstration purposes. Let's do this though. Let's go to Google Canada again. Let's search for different search terms. Let's now press on Maps. And let's press on your business listing. Because now we've associated the keywords with your business name. And once again, don't reveal this insight to your competitors. Because they won't know. And these were the keywords, right? 
So you can be flexible at this moment. Interior house painting in, instead of what the way you can say Canada. You can do this. Or use a different suburb location. Or you can even include a different keyword. And link that to your Google business list. When you do, make sure you use title for that link as well. What does the title do? Well, when someone presses on this, they're going to see that text telling them what's on the other side of this link. You can even say Google Maps details for professional interior housing paint house a painting in Ottawa. Let's say company. So we can do this. We can be flexible guiding real people as to what's on the other side of the link. Now these insights are for Google Maps ranking. But not only that, you'll also be ranking in everywhere Google. Makes sense. Google web search, you'll be ranking in Google results, you'll be ranking in Google Maps, and so on. Because in terms of search engine optimization and how Google works, links, keywords, people's location, timing of content creation is in when does Google see the content first. And if you're creating original posts related to your local business, then you can use links as I'll reveal to you. So, this is how you rank up keywords in Google, Google Maps, Google Web Search, even Google Images. Remember, Google works on links, keywords, location of people searching. That's why you must make sure that you're searching the correct one. And in your case, you probably will, regardless of where you are on this planet. Because if you're located in UK, then it's google.co.uk is the Google platform that you're using. Make sense? So just triple check that is and make sure that you're using the correct one for your country. So that's a trade secret that I never revealed to anyone before. Now you're in luck for your local business rankings as well. Keep in mind, Rank Your YouTube channel has great information. Furthermore, the newly created membership site shows you juicy insights like this. Best of the best trade secrets. When you use it, there is not a keyword that you cannot rank in Google. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like and share it, and I'll talk with you in the next video session.